Good morning, day traders, and this is your Dow Jones day trade review for today. So yesterday was pretty much um, a bit of a sell-off, uh, and that was pretty much because um, there's more trade war fear. A couple of articles coming out about uh, the trade uh, war not coming to a conclusion. Anyway, uh, let's just run through a couple of things. So the first thing for me is that this level here, of 27127 is uh, very much in play. Okay, we're just uh, sort of almost tagging it again on an after hours trade. Uh, we did get the gap close to the downside, which is a good sign. And it was a pretty decent pullback of the last move. And if we just come to the three hour. So the last move was from here to there. And that's right off the 50% where the buyer stepped in. So that was a, a great opportunity to to get in long. And you can see that was my first level. And then if I look left, here is my first inside bar. And remember, I always want to put in three. So there are my three inside bars off the three-hour chart. That gives me the levels. You can see we bought off the first one, and then we bought off the second one. So the buyers scaled in first the first one, and then they scaled in again when it hit the second one and then the move started so that little trade and you would have been able to close out now and in fact I've just closed out uh, with 180 points roughly okay so I'm gonna leave that in when I pop down the 12 minutes we'll come back to the other time frames now just to show you you can see the buyer stepped in first double top okay and then if you did a quick measure of this double top here, you would have seen there's your next target. And that gave you a double bottom. There's a buying opportunity. First attempt, second attempt, inside bar, inside bar. I mean, you couldn't get more textbook than that. Pin bar, pin bar, inside bar, inside bar. Boom, and up we go. Okay, so let's come back to the hour here. And let's delete that. Right. Uh, but let's just look at what happened yesterday. So we had a really strong move up. And what we we're looking for is another move to the upside. We we're looking for a second move to the upside. Didn't happen. And again, your stop areas was pretty much here. Okay. So yes, I had a, a long in pretty much on this move here and got taken out with a stop loss with profit. So it wasn't a, a bad thing. We had this move down pretty much below the alligator, back up to test the alligator, and then we had our second move. And you can see where the buyers start stepping in, off the 200 EMA, uh, and then off the levels. But these levels are so critical, people. That's why you want to draw them in. You want to draw them in on the three or four hour chart and stick to them. You know, when you see a big move down like that, don't be scared. Uh, take a small position if you have to. But these levels are pretty big. And you can see how many times they've been tested in the past so that's where everybody's waiting you know they they're waiting for something to happen here and i think what happens with us is we see big moves down and what most retail traders new well, new retail traders do is when they see a big move like this they're expecting it to continue falling to the floor and they keep you know they often get in right at the bottom to trade with the trend because that's what they understand and trading with the trend in this area here, it's probably not a good idea. You'd want to be on the pullback before you get in with a trend. Okay, so just be cautious of that. I mean, I'll give it to you, especially if you were watching a five minute chart. Yeah, you would have seen, wow, oh, this thing's falling to the floor, and in we get. And then, yeah, you would have started getting worried. Meanwhile, you should be patient, waiting for the second move. There's a second move, and you can see how it just keeps falling until eventually hits a floor, there's the floor, and we start moving back to the upside. Okay, anyway, enough rambling. Let's uh, just clean up the mess. So right now, we've rejected uh, some pretty big levels at the bottom, and we are now up in the alligator. Alligator starting to turn. It's non-farm payrolls today. I expect more volatility today. So uh, at this stage, I'm not entirely convinced of direction right now you know we do have a breakthrough on the lower time frames but we are overbought 
I want to see a pullback and I want to see that retest being successful before jumping in with more trades to the upside. Okay, so this move here is pretty much done. I think we might get... We could get a bit more, but I don't think so. Um, I think what's going to happen now is we're going to do what we normally do this time in the morning, is go sideways. Okay, maybe a little bit more up. We do have an area of congestion here. I go split sideways, and then either a, a pullback uh, or a reject, proper rejection, okay, which is also possible. And the reason I say that is this Fibonacci move at the moment is just above the 50. So we could possibly, you see how that inside tail there ties up with the 61.8. If I look left, well, I'll do this on the 4 hour, you'll see a fairly strong area of congestion here. Okay, even though we do have this nice pin bar, which is a wise man number one. Okay, so yeah, pretty much a mixed bag at the moment, and I think for me, Friday non-farm payrolls going to stay well away from this until uh, after non-farm payrolls, and then look at what's on on for offer. Okay, I think these moves here are done, so you might get a little bit of a meander up. So there's probably another, if I look at this, probably another thirty points available right now. But not something that I want to take right now. Okay, so fractal breaks are happening. So this fractal, that's not a fractal yet. So pretty much, if I just purely on Bull Williams, it should be long at the moment. And your stop should be below this fractal right now. Okay, and you would have added on the break, this break here, of this fractal. But uh, I was sleeping. Anyway, so pretty much for me today, the Dow Jones is proceed with caution, and there's nothing that I can see here that I really want to be trading right now. Okay, the, the trend is not really up on the hour. It's sort of testing, and if I look at the three hour, it's also testing and kind of a mixed bag at the moment. So. No clear indication of what's happening at the moment. So this could just be a retest and then a bounce down, or it could be a breakthrough. Concerning factor is there's a lower low. Okay, so the next step I'm looking for is if we end up with a lower high, which is very possible, sort of off that trend line, and the matching part of that trend line for the channel is there, then we have a well-defined channel, then you're looking for shorts, off this area here and it actually wouldn't surprise me to see our short off this area okay but anyway non-farm payrolls I'm really keeping my money in my pocket today I'm not really bothering with this until after non-farm payrolls so if we just get to the Ichimoku um, and let's just start just run through this with the time frames because it does give you a fairly good indication so on the 12 minutes, um, and I, I quite enjoy tra trading the 12 minute Ichimoku as well for day trading. You can see the break through the cloud here, the twist, and then the rejection of Kijinson. There's your confirmation. I'm short, and it was quite a big move short. Okay. And then you can see the deviation between Kijinson and Tikinson here. Look at your price action off levels, opportunity to get long, and there's your rejection of the cloud. So you could have taken profit, waited for the pullback here, the pullback, and then back in again. Okay, so right now we've broken through the cloud. I would expect to see a pullback to test the break of the cloud. Okay, that's the most logical thing I would be looking for on Ichimoku right now. So very cautious. That's bullish. Um, this is bullish. Everything's bullish at the moment on the 12 minutes. 30 minutes, coming up to the underside of the cloud, I would expect in shorts. This is bearish, bullish, bearish. So I make signals, so I'd be looking to take profit. And look at price action here. Okay, sort of three, pretty weird, three hanging men in a row. Or you could say inside bar, that's uh, not quite an inside bar, but inside bar, inside bar, uh, exhaustion bar, 
Yeah, so there's a lot happening on the half hour here, which is indicating get out of this. It looks like a range, but to me that's a range that I need to be worried about to the downside because of the underside of the cloud. Um, and if you look at the hour, this is where the confirmation of the moves to the downside are happening. This is bearish, 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 oversold. Okay, cloud eastern, so there's a potential to break through, but rule of thumb is. I've had a, a decent pullback it's on a Fibonacci well, in a Fibonacci zone, not an a, uh, area. So it's between the the 50 and the 61.8 at the moment. So I would, and then if I look to the left, there's lots of congestion here. So I'm pretty certain that there's going to be some people that are shorting this with a stop up there. I'm not really interested in that right now. Um, if we go to the four hour, which is the one that I'm really interested in, we've got. Not quite a, a crossover. They've just come together, Keaton and Tekinson. So that's kind of neutral at the moment. That's bullish. That's bullish. Okay. And look where the oscillators are. There's scope to move up. And we've got a pin bar off levels. So now on the four hour, the logic to me is we're moving up. Okay. But I still think it's going to be volatile. We've got quite a bit of congestion here. And then the daily is... Uh, Ranging, so flat cloud, flat Kijerson, flat uh, Tekinson, but it is bullish, bullish, and we've broken through price now, so that's the third bullish signal. The only concern is that it's flat, so it's ranging. Okay, and then the last thing I want to do is just the weekly, um, look at that line. The weekly is, is bullish. If you look at um, Ichimoku, everything is bullish at the moment. We do have some sellers off here, so it's going to be interesting to see how this week finishes. If we manage to sort of, let's say we have a really good non-farm payrolls, and we have a massive gain on the week, then yeah, that's the kind of thing that you want to trade today. So for me, it's sort of a, a trade the news day, not really look at price action. So wait for the news, wait for that first 15 to 20 minutes after non-farm payrolls to get in. If it's a good uh, good number, you'll see a quick rally, then you'll see a quick pullback, and then that'll give you an opportunity to get in. But uh, uh, just be very cautious because um, the news out on the trade war is not good, and uh, that's what we also need to take into account, even though we've had some really good results. Okay, so for me today, pretty much keeping money in the pocket, not even bothering to trade until non-farm payrolls. Okay, anyway guys, hope it helps you somewhat, and I will catch you later. Cheers for now.